with the fragility of our economy after five years of economic stagnation, on top of which a, an apparent global economic downturn uh, instigated by the uh, global spread of the novel coronavirus or COVID-19, and thirdly, uh, the total collapse of energy prices this week as a result of a, a price war uh, by two unfriendly regimes, uh, the Saudis and the Russians, uh, who are trying to drive North American energy out of business uh, because they'd like to take that market share. We don't think that's good for the globe, it's not good for the environment, and it's certainly not good for Canadian jobs and prosperity. We'll be calling for uh, urgent action to help uh, th th those who are um, either uh, sick or in self-isolation as a result of the coronavirus. We need uh, the go Government of Canada uh, to have our back at this time of an economic crisis in this province. Albertans expect at least that kind of help for the industry that has done more than any other uh, to create uh, jobs, wealth and opportunity, uh, government revenues for social programs than any other, and that is uh, Canada's energy industry. We'll be pushing for funding uh, such as a flow through shares to stimulate uh, clean and emissions reducing technology and remediation and completion of abandoned wells to put uh, hardworking blue collar oil field workers back to work because right now uh, the energy companies as a result of the price collapse are uh, massively cutting their capital budgets uh, for 2020. This is going to have a very negative effect on uh, working women and men in the energy services sector, which in, in so many ways is, is, is uh, that together with agriculture, the heart of the rural Alberta economy, we need those folks back to work.